What's up, everybody? The Iceman here on this Thursday afternoon on the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel. Um, I had a, a doctor's appointment this morning, and, uh, you know, it was just something minor. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to catch up with um, watching the wrestling from last night. Obviously, when you have three shows on in the same time slot, um, unless you have three different TVs, you know, all set up in a row, you can't keep track of them all. So what you do is you pick one and then you watch the other, the other two the next day. And this is what I'm trying to do. Uh, we had a pretty good TNA show last night. We have a new TNA world champion that was crowned, um, ring of honor prior to TNA had a pretty good match, uh, AJ Styles and Adam Cole, uh, which is something I want to catch up and watch. Uh, Lucha Underground was also on. I haven't got the opportunity to watch that yet. Um, so my, my morning was busy, so I haven't got the opportunity to check out really too many YouTube videos today. I'll probably be doing that a little later on. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, last night, it just seems that all the wrestling shows that were on uh, were very, very promising. So that's why I want to make sure I get a chance to, you know, watch them all and then form an opinion on it thereafter. Uh, but uh, yeah, anytime you can see like an AJ Styles and an Adam Cole, I mean, that's something you don't want to miss. You know, we all know uh, about AJ Styles and we've all learned about Adam Cole. He just has recently come back from, from an injury and, uh, one of my favorites down in ring of honor. So, uh, so I can't wait to watch that. I'm looking forward to watching Lucha underground as well. Uh, NXT, uh, I believe there was a tag team match. Um, Samoa Joe and Finn Balor with Kevin Owens and, off the top of my head, I can't think of who his partner was. But in this match, Finn Balor ended up uh, pinning Kevin Owens the first time Owens was ever pinned on NXT. So I'm looking forward to watching that as well. And of course, like I said, uh, TNA, uh, we, we have crowned a new TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Um, and obviously everybody knows that is Ethan Carter III. Uh, so all these four shows... Uh, this week are definitely well worth watching one way or another. Um, you know, you can find them, you can download them, or you can just watch them online. Uh, do what you have to do because I think all four are definitely well worth watching. Uh, I also want to point out, too, that I've been reading that um, TNA has been talking about doing uh, their tapings for November and December. And um, this isn't going to happen quite yet. But with all this being said, with all the uh, news we've heard about all these stars leaving TNA, uh, just recently today I read that Bobby Roode has left TNA and, and has joined Global Force Wrestling. Leads me to believe there is some sort of angle going on there, whether it be some sort of invasion angle uh, of whatnot maybe. Maybe TNA guys go into Global Force to, uh, you know, wreak havoc. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. There'll be more to come. Jeff Jarrett did promise that there were going to be some big things to come, uh, you know, uh, late this summer. So we'll just have to wait and find out. So other than that, um, yeah, the, the, the WWE is still uh, uh, up in the air about what they're going to do. Uh, in their main event with Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar, what the outcome's going to be, how the outcome's going to be uh, developed uh, to lead into the outcome. And they're still talking about Kevin Owens and John Cena as well. There's also reports that the one belt that John Cena has not gone after is the Intercontinental title. Um, will that be something that he chases after uh, whenever 
the U.S. belt is taken from him and he loses. Remains to be seen. This is the one belt which would keep John Cena, or is keeping John Cena away from being, uh, you know, a superstar that's had the Grand Slam in the world of professional wrestling. And uh, in the WWE era, there's really, uh, really nobody uh, that I can think of offhand that has been able to do this or did accomplish it. Um, because I don't think Triple H had the U.S. title. I could be wrong, but I don't think he did. So, but anyway, so there you have it on this Thursday with this little bit of uh, tidbit of news. But like I said, uh, all four shows last night look to be very, very, very good to watch. Uh, so if you get the opportunity, you know, take some time, watch one here, watch one there, uh, because I think all four are, are, are really deserving to get your attention. So there you have it, guys. This is the Iceman on this Sunday afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your evening when it comes about. And uh, we'll see you all again next time. Peace out, everybody.